Myself, Dr. K. Vishnath Alam Raju, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Jindigal, Hyderabad. Today we are going to study how to draw a cam profile with a flat face follower. The motion of the follower is a simple harmonic motion. This is the problem before related to a roller follower, but we are using the same data. And in the place of roller follower, we are using a flat face follower. Flat face follower. And the length of the flat face is 20 millimeter. The length of the flat face is uh, 20 millimeter. The same data here to raise the wall rod through 50 millimeters through during 120 degrees rotation of the cam and 30 degrees next to the uh, raising it is the keeps wall fully raised through next 30 degrees and the wall during the lower the wall during next 60 degrees and it remains remains the angle that is 150 degrees during the next revolution of the cam so the length of the flat face the length of the flat face is 20 millimeter and the diameter of the camshaft is 25 millimeter. So we are going to do it in this problem. In this, uh, in this case, that is for only the axis of the follower is passing through the axis of the camshaft. When the axis of the follower is passing through the camshaft, how uh, the cam profile uh, comes out. Let us see. Now here, to raise the valve rod through 50 millimeter during 120 degrees of cam rotation, the meaning of this is nothing but uh, as familiar words that is called outstroke. That is uh, during the outstroke, the valve is raised. That is outstroke angle. That is 120 degrees. The lift or raise of the follower, total lift of the follower during that stroke. That is maximum. That is 50 millimeter. That is denoted by S or H. Next, to keep the valve for the next raise, it is the, to, to keep the valve fully raised through, it is fully raised and it remains same, that is called dwell during outstroke is 30 degree. To lower the valve, the next is 60 degree is completely getting lowered, that is return stroke, that is 60 degree. And it remains a dwell for the rest of the rotation of the cam angle that is return stroke dwell that is 150 degrees so here the minimum radius of the cam that is uh, 25 millimeter that minimum radius is 25 millimeter but it is rotating clockwise when it is rotating clockwise portion so the follower moves like that in opposite direction it is very important so when the cam is rotating, the contact, when it is rotating in clockwise direction from my side, then what will happen? The follower moves in opposite direction. That is what the cam is rotating means follower remains same. But in this, we have to follow the anti-clockwise direction, that is uh, flat faces. So before going to uh, draw the cam profile, we have to start. Uh, the prerequisite for cam profile is a displacement diagram. Here. The follower is moving with simple harmonic mo motion. So how to start, how to drawing the simple harmonic motion. So let us begin with the simple harmonic motion graph. So here already drawn, but we'll draw uh, with uh, proper dimensions and all. So take a scale. So this is the displacement diagram in previous classes we practiced, but uh, let me explain once again how to draw the displacement diagram when the follower is in simple harmonic motion. Take a scale, we have to take a scale. So this displacement diagram is the angle of, uh, at, at, it is the displacement diagram is the diagram of cam rotation versus the lift of the follower. And another definition we can make it uh, that at what angle, at different angles we are going to draw angle 
is the cam angles is the rotation angle of rotation of the cam is considered as independent parameter and the lift of the follower is the dependent so the de independent parameters are considered on axis x and independent dependent parameters are considered on axis y it is independent that is 120 degrees take a scale we are going to convert rotation of the angle angle of rotation into linear square that is 120 degrees that is 20 degrees equal to 1 centimeter 20 degrees equal to 1 centimeter in that case the outstroke angle 120 degrees that becomes in the linear scale the angular angular displacement into that is 6 centimeters next dwell during outstroke that is 30 degrees that is 30 degrees that becomes in this linear scale 1.5 centimeters then return stroke 60 degrees that is 60 that is by converting the scale that becomes 3 centimeters and return stroke dwell theta return stroke dwell that is uh, 150 degree so 150 degree becomes 7.5 centimeters so we have to use this uh, linear scales and draw a straight line horizontal straight line this horizontal straight line is the length the sum of outstroke uh, dwell during outstroke return stroke and during dwell during return stroke that is 6 plus 1.5 7.5 3 10.5 plus 7.5 10.5 that is 11 that is 18 centimeters try it that divide into parts the parts are first part theta outstroke part second part that outstroke during dwell uh, that is written next third part is written stroke mm, and fourth part is written stroke during well so here in this problem there are two dwells are there and one out stroke and one written stroke so there are two dwells there's one of the dwell is in between so we cannot replace one of the important we cannot make a written stroke first and out stroke is uh, last like that there is order depend upon the data we have to follow so here the outstroke is the first order, first, first part, second part is after outstroke, it is a dwell. Dwell is the resting period. Dwelling means resting period. After that, it is a return stroke. Remaining at that, it comes back and again it rests some time. That is the return stroke during dwell. Okay, outstroke during dwell means after outstroke, it just takes some time. That is outstroke dwell and comes back to original position and stays some time. This coming back to original position that during that time is the return stroke and resting for some time that is return stroke during dwell. So these are the things. So divide this. This is the outstroke 120 degrees. Even though we mentioned here the rotation of the angle of rotation presented here. But this angle of rotation indirectly it is in terms of linear that is 6 centimeters. Then remaining it is 3 centimeters. Then it is 6 centimeters. Next, next portion is 3 centimeters. Sorry, it is 1.5 centimeters. It is 3 centimeters. Rest portion is 7.5 centimeters. Alright. Thus, we have to. Then, after that, what to do? Divide this 6 centimeters into 6 parts. Even number of parts. Either 2 parts, 4 parts, 6 parts, 8 parts, 10 parts, and 12 parts also. But the more number of parts you are dividing, it is the more clarity, but it takes time more. So the optimum, and if you go for less number of parts, the two or four parts, if you follow, there is no clarity. The clarity of the displacement diagram won't be taken place. So that means what we are going to do it easier. It is optimum number, optimum even number of parts. That is six even number of parts. So we divide this outstroke and return stroke portions into even number of parts that is six even number six parts that is six centimeters divided by six parts. that is called each part conserve one centimeter so it begins with zero or a one two three four five so after this draw vertical lines So what is this length of this vertical line? That is a lift stroke. That is 50, 50 millimeter. So you have to join rectangle. Then 
डिसमेंट ऑफ दॉलो next after the dwell you have to make it that is again 3 cm that divide into 6 parts that is each 0.5 cm half cm is one part that 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash here remember during out stroke and return stroke it is with the motion of the follower is simple harmonic motion a simple harmonic motion that is in short form it is shm simple harmonic motion so that's why divide this and draw vertical lines so after after drawing the vertical lines what to do for simple harmonic motion one of the left side vertical surface make a center line and center point draw a semi circle after drawing that semi circle divide that semi circle into equal number of angular divisions even number that is 6 already divided here it should be 6 the 6 parts will intersect with the 6 vertical lines Six horizontal lines, six vertical. Then again, six points will come out. Six decimal, six coordinates. So here, again, divide this with the help of protractor. Divide this into six parts. That is, each part comes out. How much? One eighty degree by six. That is thirty degrees. Ninety degree, one twenty degree, one fifty, and again one eighty. So draw a horizontal line. Mark it with the numbers or letters for your convenience. That is A small A B C D E, and it is also of course F. But we are doing it as a Y square. Now draw horizontal line from A, and with one, that is point B. Similarly, B intersect with the two, that is point C. C is intersecting with capital letter point D. D is intersecting with capital E. Similarly. E is intersecting with E F. So similarly, extend and extend these lines, horizontal lines, to out stroke, so to return stroke. So the way you can mark it here, but it is intersecting at this point. That is E, E is intersecting with one dash. Okay, that is you are going here. Generally, no need to get confusion. If you mark it as six dash, five dash, four dash, three dash, two dash, that is easy, but Okay, some other test book followed, but the way and all you can follow it is the same. This one one is over. Next, this side same side. That is J point. Then I'm slowly. This is E point. Extend this line, and it is L, and it is M, and it is N. Next, join all these points with a smooth curve. That curve is gives the displacement curve when the follower is under the motion of uniform simple harmonic motion. So join all these points with the curve. simple harmonic motion this curve represents gives the displacements of the follower for a particular angular rotation of the cam so this is the displacement diagram so here in the problem we mentioned here is the valve rise that is nothing but we consider as outstroke that is 120 degree dwell Remains the remain static position. 
there is no motion there is no effect in the follower in this motion and valve lowered it is coming back to return it happens during return stroke and it is a 12 remaining rest of the remaining rest of the cam angle of rotation of the cam now again first step the first step take a scale this is the first step, step one step two draw a rectangle with horizontal with this those uh, scale of rotation with those dimensions draw x axis and y axis draw divide this rectangle into the different positions outstroke dwell during out, uh, dwell during outstroke return stroke and dwell during return stroke and divide this outstroke portions into even number of parts after drawing even number of parts and draw a semicircle here there is a simple harmonic motion divide the semicircle into equal number of parts which was uh, divided which already the outstroke portion divided that is six parts so here and also six parts join these horizontal and vertical lines of the outstroke then at intersecting points gives the path of your displacement of when the motion is with the simple harmonic motion now this is the displacement diagram so the displacement diagram after drawing the displacement diagram now here we are going to draw the profile of a cam the profile of a cam when the axis of the flat face follower is passing is passing through the axis of the camshaft okay how to draw again it is the minimum radius of the cam was given here the minimum radius of the cam is 25 millimeters and the follower type of follower type of follower is the type of follower is a flat face follower flat face length of the flat face is length of the flat face that is 20 millimeter okay next and the axis of the follower is passing through the axis of the cam shot condition is that the axis of the follower follower is passing through through the axis of shaft axis of the axis of the cam shaft now let us begin first to draw a circle that is 25 millimeter radius so with the help of uh, compass you draw instrument geometry instrument then you draw 25 millimeters radius that is circle that is 250 millimeters diameter circle this is the center line now this is the line the axis of the follower it is in the contact point this is the base circle the base circle minimum radius of the cam the circle which drawn which is drawn with the minimum radius of the cam is known as a base circle after drawing the base circle this is the contact point of the flat face the flat face is 20 millimeters so equal contact to draw this is 10 millimeters one side and another side is 10 millimeter the surface is the flat face so before going to that the flat face follower this is the flat face follower when it is in touch with the cam profile with the cam 
this is the way of contact with the flat fist follower with the follower with the cam this is flat flat face follower it is cam so so we are using only this portion which portion the portion which is in touch that is like a straight line it is normal to it is normal to the radial lines also we can make it it is exactly tangential line or normal lines so in this case we have to draw the normal lines to the divided radial lines radial partitions now this is follower so the axis of the follower is passing through the axis of the camshaft this is the axis of the camshaft it is passing now divide this base circle into four parts four divisions that is our stroke division angular division and dwell angular division or angular division of return stroke and angular division of uh, dwell during return stroke so now it is 120 degrees divide this portion into so here 120 this is reference line now take 90 plus 30 approximately i'm drawing here with the help of protractor you divide this is the portion of how much what is the portion here theta or stroke next portion is it is 30 degree 120 plus 30 150 that is a dwell during outstroke that is 30 degrees now it becomes a reference line now here please understand this is the reference for outstroke for a dwell this is the reference line continuation next return stroke this portion is the reference line from this line you draw again 60 degree that is 30 means it is approximately this is return stroke and remaining angle is automatically it is 150 degree comes because uh, the remaining rest of the dwell because total sum of the sum of angles during outstroke dwell during outstroke return stroke and dwell return stroke is equal to 360 degrees if you want to add it you can see it here 120 degrees plus 30, 150 plus 60, 210, 210 plus 150, that is 360 degrees. So this 360 degrees gives the one angle of rotation of the cam. Okay, we are considering the displacement diagram for one angle of rotation of the cam. So one rotation of the cam gives one rise and one return, one fall. Okay, it is like a cycle. So we are drawing the cam profile for one cycle of rotation. That is that is enough. Even two cycles also. For one cycle, what is the shape? That indicates the remaining cycles of rotation of the cam also. It doesn't change. Now, after dividing this, uh, after partitioning the base circle radius, base circle with outstroke, dwell outstroke, return stroke, and uh, dwell during return. Divide this outstroke portion into how many parts? Six parts. So, which are already partitioned, displacement diagram, we followed six number. So, divide this into six parts. Okay, approximately take a protractor or angular measuring instrument, divide this into six parts, that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Draw radial lines passing through this. Similarly, return stroke also make it into equal number of parts. 
Jag står här och drar en smal lägre. Okay, next dwell, there is no division. Now on this point, take the point of contact. How to consider the point of contact of the follower? Take displacement vertical distances. The market from 1 to B, this is the one portion. This is the one portion and it is B, 1 to B. Next vertical distance from 2, part 2 to C, approximately here. Next, 3 to D. It is the 3 and it is a D. It is 4 to E. From 4.42, to, it is E. 5 to F. The 0.5 and it is F. 6 to G. It is a 6 and it is G. Similarly, point O dash to H. This is the O dash. Consider H. Next. Next, 1 dash to J. This is the 1 dash line. So, like that, all the portion J, I am considering here approximately K, L, M, N, and comes under N is very small. Okay. Right. Approximately it comes. Okay. Then what to do? Comes under here like that. Now there, those are the points of contact. Which which portion? That is the flat face portion. At that point, we have to draw a normal lines to the radial lines. Now it is the point B, you draw such a way that you it will be 20 millimeters. Is it 10 millimeter one side, 10 millimeter? Draw a normal lines to this. That is our perpendicular lines. Similarly, mm -hmm. you consider them is 10 millimeter 10 mm. This one side 10, another side 10, then 20 millimeters length. Say so, okay. Next, like that, you draw flat faces. Okay, it may be approximately somewhere else. Yeah, you have to draw at this point only. Exact 20 millimeters you draw. Now, after drawing this, you join the surfaces with smooth curve of the flat faces. Then curve gives the, the joining of all the curve. That curve is the profile of your cam. When the flat follower is flat facing follower and you're having a motion of simple harmonic motion. Now we have to join that, that tangential, all these followers with a smooth curve. Then that gives the Exactly, you have to join all the touching, whatever it is, you have to follow radially smooth curl. No need to intersect those intersecting points. You should touch approximately. So, whatever the curve comes, that curve gives the profile of a cam. So, this is the profile of a cam. I used manually freehand sketch. I have drawn, explained the principles, but you have to use instruments, geometry instruments, use geometric instruments and draw the profile. But the procedure is the same. That procedure, what I mentioned here, you follow that procedure and 
using instrument you draw you get the exact shape of a cam so this is the cam profile when the follower is uh, when the follower is flat faced follower all right so here very important is that the conditions you have to consider now we consider the rotation of the cam is clockwise direction okay you are this is the clockwise direction it is mentioned when it is a clockwise direction what will happen the profile when it is rotating the follower goes this direction the follower moves that's why we followed why wouldn't consider this 30 degrees outstroking in this direction that is another important point suppose the cam is rotating like that so we considered outstroke and dwell and return stroke in this position like that when the cam rotates in counterclockwise direction when the cam rotates in counterclockwise direction suppose the cam is moving in this counterclockwise direction you have to start partitioning in opposite direction clockwise now this is the reference line this becomes outstroke and dwell again in this direction you have to pass through it you have to go through it that is a return then remaining is the dwell now we consider here it is a cam is under clockwise direction that's why we partitioned this outstroke dwell and all in opposite to that so that when cam is rotating in clockwise direction at that time rising takes place okay valve rises moves the follower moves up during outstroke and it remains it dwell for the period of 630 degrees here in this problem the next 120 degrees it moves up and 30 degrees it stays some time and dwelling and remaining return stroke it comes down that is what portion is here exactly the way data was given you have drawn here suppose the cam is rotating in counter clockwise direction then we have to go for it theta outstroke and all in clockwise direction you have to divide and coming back when it is rotating in clockwise uh, in counter clockwise direction the first outstroke is taking place means the figure becomes it will be reversed okay if you draw like that then it comes the portion will come the portion of the cam exactly comes as like that okay because this is the outstroke angle portion if i consider it approximately this is outstroke angle and it is a dwell outstroke and it is a return and it is dwell during return so the dwell during return is you see the remains angle so we have to be very careful while solving the problem and we have to understand the conditions which were given then if you draw if you follow those conditions and follow properly then you will get the proper shape of the cam so one thing is that even though clockwise or counter clockwise the outstroke angles angle of cam rotation and return stroke rotation of the cam are remains the same values then the shape of the cam the geometry of the cam remains the same even though direction may be changed but the the geometry of the cam remains the same but here geometry of the cam say remains same, but position of the cam will be changed the position of uh, outstroke return stroke and all this in this case that uh, it is a clockwise rotation of the cam that's why this is the portion of outstroke portion and it is a dwelling portion during outstroke and it is return stroke portions so but whereas in the case of uh, when the cam is rotating counterclockwise direction at that time these are the portion this is the portion of outstroke and it is the portion of outstroke dwell and it is a return stroke and remaining return stroke dwell it will be opposite direction that's it so here the case we focus it in this class is mostly the mostly mean the case study of here when the axis of the follower the line of stroke of the follower a rod passes through the axis of the camshaft the follower here it is flat faced follower 
flat faced follower okay that's what we followed here so this is the way we have to draw for a case study of uh, for a case of flat faced follower having the motion of the follower is simple harmonic motion thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates